Good evening, everyone. Here we are again with another MetaZoo video. Um, today, here it is. I got the Faded Spade um, playing card Kickstarter from MetaZoo. I finally got it in. So this is the box that everything came in. Um, and we're going to open this up um, and, and go through all of its contents. Go through everything. That I got will open up all of the promo cards or the limited 12 cards that come in the individual card packs for this Kickstarter um, and showcase all the other stuff that we got. So I'm opening it up right here. All right. As you can see, it comes all bubble packed and even more official MetaZoo sealed tape, which is always good to see. So we've got this box here. So this is the box that has all of our um, individual cards. So these are the single cards, so the two arms cards. So there's Mothman to arms, Wendigo to arms, Iowa Dragon to arms. All of those are in there. And this part of it is the actual playing cards themselves. So you can see we've got there. That's all that came in the box. So we are going to get this open. Try not to be too noisy with the tape, so I'll use some scissors here. Get the bubble wrap undone. Come on. Boy, they really made an effort to get it in here, I tell you what. So, I got the one that comes with one of each of the decks and the promo cards. So we have the Wilderness... I'll set that one right here so you can see that one. Um, the the Nightfall. It looks see it looks like some of the packaging tape even like got on the the thing, the actual foil for the the deck of cards itself. So like the sealed tape was like stuck to the side of the actual product, um, which is less than ideal. But this one's really cool, the Nightfall one. So that's the Nightfall deck. And this is the Cryptid Nation deck. So that's all the sealed product that we got from the set here um, laid out. We also got this uh, this bounty chip. So I'll show that here as well. Um, so this is uh, one of the, I believe it's the same stock, kind of the same material, same weight as the actual poker chip set. Um, I didn't order the poker chip set, but this is a, a cool little a cool little poker chip um, with uh, what, what appears to be black ink. Um, on the, the front of the card, and it's got the MetaZoo logo, as well as the Kickstarter, um, to indicate that we backed the Kickstarter, so that's a cool little little poker chip to get with the set. And then we have all three of the promo cards that came with each one of the decks. So you get the Cryptid Nation one for the Cryptid Nation deck, Nightfall and Wilderness, um, respectively. So this one is the Cryptid Nation one, it's got all the, you know, the iconic Cryptid Nation beasties, um, there playing poker with each other, kind of like, you know, that classic um, painting of, the, of all the dogs playing poker. Um, the World Poker Tour logo is there. Um, you've got the Kickstarter Kickstarter emblem in the bottom bottom corner. Um, so this one reads, if you control a token page that is represented by a MetaZoo Cryptid Nation playing card, beasties you control from the Cryptid Nation set gain plus 10 plus 10. Um, and that's very similar throughout all of them. Um, a lot of these are set specific, so if you have a token that's represented by a card from the deck, then all of your beasties from that particular set gain plus 20, plus 20, or 15, or 5, 5. It, it, just, it just depends on, on what card you get and, uh, and what the effect says. Um, but these are really cool. These are um, their own sets. So you can kind of see the, the, the set icon is this own unique like poker set, um, which is cool. Um, because this Kickstarter was released um, before Wilderness came out. So it, it, before Wilderness dropped, this was live. Um, so I, I, did, we, I don't think anybody knew if they were going to have the Wilderness set logo, because, you know, sometimes that happens. You have, you have that. And I, I believe the foiling was Cryptid Nation. I saw um, on, an, on an somebody else opening a video as well. So the foiling is Cryptid Nation, and it's got its own set logo, which is cool. So that's the Cryptid Nation one. This is the Nightfall, um, Nightfall playing poker, so it's got all obviously all the iconic Nightfall beasties in that same setting with a cool like pumpkin table. 
And then this is the Wilderness Wand. It's got Cumberland Dragon and everybody else in the forest all playing uh, playing poker. So that's that's really cool. Got all these cards um, for that. So we will put these aside and we will actually open all of the individual cards in here. So there are 12 of these. Each one is individually packaged. Um, I'm not sure what all of them are, but each one of them is uh, a beastie in the game, and then it has two arms at the end of its name. Um, and it affects the game. It affects the game similar to um, the, the other promo cards. It has something to do with having a token represented by a playing card, and if that is the case, um, it, it gives all of the beasties from a particular set or with a particular set icon um, some type of stat boost. So, we're going to open this up, pull these guys out, and start cracking them. So there are ten of these. Make sure I get them all out here. Each one is individually packed card. So if you open the... Uh, like the Christmas box, I did, I think, and I did on on stream as well, um, and in a video, I opened the the Christmas box, um, and each one of the cards is in its own little uh, its own little container like this. So I am gonna I am gonna save this box, of course, and I will probably try and save all of these um, these wrappers and just put them back in the box. So usually the card image is facing forward, so I open from the back to kind of maintain the suspense. So I'm going to open from the back. I usually open it from the back along the spine and pull the card out like that. Um, what I am going to do, since I know we have exactly 10 of these, is I'm going to get out some sleeves. And we are going to be sleeving all of these up. So here we go. The first card is Red Ink to Arms. Nice. So this one uh, is a Cryptid Nation one. So you can see... It reads for every for every token page you control that is represented by a Cryptid Nation card. Um, neutral beasties you control from the Cryptid Nation set gain 2020. And so you can see there's there's going to be a lot of theming with that. Um, there's going to be a lot of you know beasties of of this particular tribe or uh, this particular color gain some type of stat boost for whatever set you have. Right, that sort of thing. So, you can you could build a deck around that. Um, in particular, the cosmic one um, is is very interesting. I guess I can just sleeve this up before I even flip it around. Look at that. So now we can flip it. So this card is Babe the Blue Ox to arms. Look at that cute little babe. Oh my goodness, it's got a little tree in its mouth. Because canonically, if you know the story of Babe the Blue Ox, it's, it's huge. Babe the Blue Ox is humongous, like as tall as a mountain, or something like that. Um, so, it could very easily pick up a tree in its mouth. Now, some of the videos I've been watching of people opening these, um, a lot of people aren't getting duplicates. I don't know if that's the norm. Um, I haven't, I've only seen a couple. Um, I haven't looked at you know, hundreds of them. I'm not sure what the actual stats are, but we'll see if we get any duplicates or not. Um, so here we go with card number three it is the Dragon of Uncoto Falls. This is one that I wanted because um, it's got sort of a the, the rainbow background, um, it, and that's what the Dragon of Uncoto Falls does, right? It's all about rainbows. Um, so thematically, that's really good, and of course, it looks amazing with the foiling. So we'll move on to the next one here. This is 4 out of 10, and there are 12 total. So even if there are no duplicates um, in, in any given box, you, you still won't get all 12 um, for a complete collection with just one set. Um, so this is card number 4. Is Cumberland Dragon. Right, so this one specifically buffs Wilderness Forest Beasties. Right by 15 15 for the same effect and that's and that's consistent throughout so i'm not just going to repeat myself for every card from here on out we're just going to pull these see what they are sleeve them up and say hooray when we're finished 
And that sounds like a plan to me. So this is card number five. Chibi Bigfoot to arms. Very nice. Um, and, and so I, I just said I wasn't going to repeat myself. Obviously, these are both forest and they're both wilderness. So each one affects forest wilderness cards. But you can see that the card text is almost... It, it is from what I'm seeing. I'm not reading it word for word. But the card text is identical from what I see. Uh, just one gives 2020 and the other gives 15 for 15. So if you do build a deck around this, I mean, it's it's one extra aura to cast. But uh, yeah, they're not sure where that falls in terms of power creep. Not that these are <laughs> meta-defining by any means, but uh, just an interesting thing to note. I, I'm, I'm really, really into like, you know, card theory and like playability of like, possible combinations of, of what you can do and, and what kind of card decks you can make and testing them out to see if you can get off some type of, you know, crazy combo or something like that. So we're halfway done. Uh, this is number six. When to go to arms. This is the one. Oh, this is another one I was looking for just because he's got the cape and the scepter. That looks so awesome. Um, I'm also looking for the Mothman to arms, obviously, because he's got the sword and it's Mothman who's the, the icon of the whole game. So super hoping we get a Mothman. That's probably the one that I want the most. Um, but we will see. So this is another sleeve on. Ah, okay. So this is a Chibi Bigfoot to arms. Okay, so duplicates are, are possible. I know that now. So now um, we'll be at least three cards short. Even if the rest of these aren't duplicates... We will only have nine of the 12. So that's disappointing. I'm glad I got Dragon of Uncota Falls um, and when to go to arms. I'm st I'm, so we only have three left. I'm hoping I get either a Mothman to arms or an Iowa Dragon to arms. Or both. Obviously both would be ideal. But we will see. Here we are. So this is card number uh, seven, I believe. Or Hold on. I can't count. Do you guys know counting to 10 is really hard? Most people can't do it. So this is card number eight. It's another one to go to arms. So I'll tap him in there. And number nine. Can we get a Mothman? Can we get an Iowa Dragon? Those are the two I'm looking for. Really would love to see them. Here is number nine. Yes, there it is. Mothman to arms. Look at him. Ah, oh, it's got the heart scepter. I thought it was a sword, but I think that was just in the Kickstarter image. Um, but still, awesome. Like an albino Mothman. That is really cool. And then... Last card, number 10. Here we go. What's it gonna be? Let's see. Whoo, a Kinderhook Blob to arms. So this one, oh, okay, this one's Nightfall. I thought this was Wilderness. Um, I thought this would be really cool, but no, it's only Nightfall playing cards. Um, so for Cosmic, I was I was thinking you could do something like, you know, the Schmooze tokens. If there's a, if there's a Medford Schmooze, playing card you could use that to represent your schmooze token and then you would get you know cosmic buffs to all of your wilderness beasties because um schmooze is a wilderness cosmic beastie there's like cumberland spaceman and some other ones from wilderness um but unfortunately this one's for nightfall only so we'll have to see you could probably do some reptoid ruler stuff with this if you if you wanted to to do that um i might test that out i really like cosmic as a as a um a class, I guess, and, and Spirit as well. Those are probably my top two. Um, so maybe maybe I'll experiment with this card. Who knows? Who knows? So this is what we got. So we got a duplicate of Chibi Bigfoot to arms and a duplicate of Wendigo to arms. So total for all of these cards, um, we're going to have two less than the 10 out of 12, which means we're only going to have eight unique cards out of the 12. And I'll see if I can get them all 
on the camera here. Here they are. So, whoops, here are the eight, eight cards we got. Um, like I said earlier, Dragon of Uncoda Falls and Wendigo, Mothman, probably my favorites from this one. But I will be putting all of these in their own little section of the binder, um, keeping them all tucked away with other like limited printings and promo cards that I have um, for MetaZoo. We will do the same with these three. So um, I'm gonna get these in sleeves um, and we'll be right back. One quick note while I was doing that. Um, so these came in this bubble wrap um, and the, these cards were in, in the plastic wrap but they were just kind of stuffed in this bubble wrap like this. They were just in there, in their little plastic sleeves um, like smushed between these decks. Um, and so you can see here, when I was sleeving this up, I just noticed that this one's bent. Um, you can kind of see how it bends down there on the corner. So I don't know if that was just in shipping or it being like wrapped up too tight and all that bubble wrap. Um, so I'm not, not a huge fan of that. Um, that is, that is a first to just have an individually packaged playing card just kind of taped up together with some other stuff and bubble wrap. Um, that is definitely not good for the card. Um, so I just figured I'd mention that. So that aside, um, we have all of our promos sleeved up and our cool collectible poker chip. So we'll put those all away where they go. And remaining we have these three decks of MetaZoo um, standard poker playing cards. Um, I will be go opening all these boxes and going through each one, but I won't be doing it in this video. Um, this is actually an announcement for a new video series that I'll be starting on the channel, going through my collection of playing cards. Um, so in addition to MetaZoo and other TCGs, I have a collection of, I would say, almost 200, if not just over 200, um, decks of just regular playing cards. Um, and now I have three more to add to that collection. So they consist of everything from you know, wacky decks like this 1963 Trivia Challenge playing cards to just some beautiful beautiful old decks with just classic art pieces on them from from decades ago um like like this one here so those are just a couple of samples that i grabbed off the top of the pile and there's hundreds more um so if you're interested in that kind of stuff uh stay tuned for that video that'll be in a separate playlist once it's actually recorded and up i'll, I'll link it in the description of this video um but the first video on that cha uh playlist will be these three decks of metazoo playing cards and we'll continue from there um to another part of my collection so uh, I hope you guys will, will, will watch that as well, in addition to the normal MetaZoo content. But that about does it for this video. Um, thank you guys for, for joining us tonight and, and watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great night.